The writing could not be worse. Whew, She-Hulk is so bad, so much worse than you're thinking based on what you saw in the trailers. There's a lot of people complaining about a lot of things with this show, and it's all justified. But what I want to talk about today is how the writing is absolutely terrible. I honestly think that Jussie Smollett might be on the writing team based on the dialogue and the situations that they brought up in the show. One, they created a character that is just awful in every way, not just unlikable, but free from consequence and no growth whatsoever. The other thing is that what we're shown and what we're told through exposition dump doesn't match up at all. And it creates for a show that doesn't make any sense. Let's start at the beginning. One of the big themes of the show is that men are bad, and that's really the only way to put it. And we're given two big examples for this. The first comes right away at the beginning of the show. She's giving her closing statement practice to two of her coworkers. One is her paralegal lackey, for a better term. I mean, this woman is here just to tell her and us, the audience, how amazing she is. She's basically LeFou. You're the greatest hunter in the whole world! But a woman, so we're gonna call her LaFemme because I can't remember her name. The other guy is a guy, and he's another lawyer, and he's there to just be a man and be horrible. He says really cool man things like, smile more. That is the level of heavy-handedness that the writers are bringing, and it it never gets any better than that, honestly. <laughs> Here's the problem. The writers love this character so much, and they love the idea of the message that they want to bring to you so much. They cannot allow her to look, have even the semblance of weakness for one second. So right after the evil man gives her the talk about her speech is terrible and he should be the one doing the closing, we're supposed to see her you know, in kind of a victim light. But then they immediately tell us through La Femme that she is a baby genius, she is the best, she's amazing, and that she was handpicked by the firm to do this case. So the show tells us it's a man's world she's got to compete in, but then tells us she is excelling and is amazing. So we're getting two different messages, and that continues through the whole thing. So then we have another example of why men are bad later on in the show, after she turns into the Hulk through a super weird sequence. Uh, it's all, the pacing is terrible. Like everything happens so, so fast. Uh, she is at a bar. She's just turned into the Hulk. So she looks really terrible. She's run off into the forest. Uh, there's a short scene in the bathroom with a bunch of girls getting her cleaned up because they think that she's been abused. And one of the girls tells her, of course, that, uh, you know, you don't need him or her or they. We get it. We get it, writers. You're very... You're very woke. We we understand. And she's outside the bar waiting for Bruce to come pick her up. A group of men who are just inherently bad come out of the bar and they start harassing her and they're just being super creepy and douchey. And it's it's so transparent, the message that they're going for. Honestly, I'm surprised that one of the guys doesn't tell her, oh, come on, baby, gotta come home with us. This is MAGA country. One of the guys should have been wearing a red ball cap. Like, this is the level of writing that we're dealing with. And then the writers once again cannot tolerate for her to look even a little bit vulnerable for a second. So she immediately turns into the Hulk and she is about to murder these guys right in the parking lot. And then Bruce tackles her out of nowhere. And then we move on to the next scene. The fact that she almost murders these guys, it never talked about ever again. She suffers no consequence. She learns nothing from it. So the tone of the show is that Jen is angry, men are bad. The thing is, the writers only give us two really thin examples as to why men are bad. What is happening is the writers are activists, and they brought a worldview to the show that they assume you share. And they're showing you men and going, look, these are bad, obviously, right? You guys can see that? Great, just because they're men? Cool, let's move on. So the writers are telling you different things from what they're showing you, but they also just created a character that sucks. I mean, that's really, I can't put it any nicer than that. The She-Hulk character is terrible. Not only from a character perspective, she has no character, but also from the audience connection perspective, you have nothing to connect with this character on. She has no struggles. She has no weaknesses whatsoever that were shown. I mean, she is a classic Mary Sue. And as the audience, you're like, okay, cool. I mean, you're already perfect, so... Why should I care about anything you do or say? She experiences consequences for nothing. Like I said, she gets angry at the guys in the parking lot. We're shown that she like hulks out. And as the audience, all we know at this point is you go uncontrollable rage as a Hulk and she's going to murder these dudes. And it's never brought up ever again. Even when she's arguing with Bruce about how she has it completely under control after like literally 
One day of being a Hulk, she tells him, I've got this figured out, I'm good to go. And he doesn't say something like, yeah, you almost murdered some guys yesterday. She's also just a giant asshole throughout the entire show. Bruce has obviously been a Hulk for two decades and he's made this binder because he's like, I'm really terrified for you. Being a Hulk is so scary and it's so hard to control, whatever. And she just tells him, I don't need your help at all. She literally tells him, I'm better than you. That's the kind of character that we're dealing with and we're supposed to be rooting for somehow. We get these childish speeches. You've probably seen the one where she tells him how she's better at dealing with her anger because of all the misogyny. I have to keep my emotions in check when a man explains my area of expertise to me. Meanwhile, the entire show is her telling him, I'm better than you at being a Hulk, even though you've been doing it for 20 years and I've been doing it for about 20 hours. She mentions that she might get murdered by a man when she almost just freaked out and murdered three guys just the day before. She is a petulant teenager who has a great life, but she's complaining to her parents, telling them that she knows how hard it is and they don't. That is this character, and you have no way to get attached to a character like that. She is more unlikable than teenage Anakin. At first I thought, okay, they're making her out to be this petulant child who thinks she's better than everybody else and has this chip on her shoulder, and maybe they're doing that so that she has room for growth as a character, right? That's a possibility. I'm not optimistic for that because of the way they've already treated the character. At the Toward the end of the first episode, she is giving that horrible monologue about how she's had to deal with horrible men. And then at the end of it, she's telling him, I'm better than dealing with my anger. And then she's getting more and more worked up and then turns into the Hulk. He looks at her like, see? And you think, okay, great. She's gonna see that like she really doesn't have control and she has to work on these emotions, right? That's the whole Hulk thing is that you have to be in control of your emotions. She immediately turns back to herself and goes, nope, got it under control the entire time and then goes to leave. So we might see some character development, but thus far we are being shown that she does not ever suffer consequence she is in complete control and has no struggles to overcome whatsoever. And then after a brief little sibling fight that they have, five minutes later, they're completely patched up. He's not mad at her anymore. They hug it out and she drives off and that's that. So what we're shown thus far is that she's not gonna need any kind of redemption arc or growth because the writers think that she's already perfect and she has nowhere to grow. Why would I care about a character like that? <sighs> All right, there you go. There's She-Hulk, uh, probably the worst written character in the history of television, who was written by activists, not writers. And uh, it's it's just plain awful. I can't even find one thing to like about it. It's that bad. Marvel really is on fire at this point and has no intention of fixing anything.